if you have a saltwater aquarium, in the event of a power cut, the Ecotech battery backup might just prevent all of your fish and corals from dying. And that's because water needs surface movement to stay oxygenated. Uh, so when your powerheads aren't running, the oxygen in the water will start running out very fast, which will kill all of your livestock. So while you might actually think that you need to keep the temperature up and therefore the heaters on, the reality is that water movement is the only thing that matters in the event of a power cut, and a battery backup like the Ecotech is arguably an essential purchase for a reef tank for that very reason. However, the Ecotech battery backup is far from an ideal solution because it's big, heavy at over six kilograms and expensive at 200 pounds. And the worst part is that inside the case it's just a 40 pound wheelchair battery with a couple of wires. The good news though is that you can get this lithium ion battery backup that weighs five kilograms less than the Ecotech, is a fraction of the size and costs less than half as much as the Ecotech at just 75 pounds. Now it's a talent cell battery backup and it's available in the UK, the US and probably various other places too. And there is of course a link for it in the description of this video. It plugs straight into the MP40's dedicated battery backup slot, just like the Ecotech battery backup does. And the only extra thing you need is this 3.5 millimeter adapter because the MP40 connector is slightly smaller and it goes on like that. And I'll link uh, the adapter in the description as well. Now, while size, weight and price are important considerations for most of us, the main thing that matters with a battery backup is how long the battery will last when the power goes out. And the Ecotech describes itself as a 24 hour battery backup and the bump on the website says that it will last up to 30 hours, which is more than enough to cover all but the most extreme situation. Now, perhaps unsurprisingly, uh, the lithium manufacturer doesn't say how long this will run a Vortec powerhead for. So instead, I decided to test it myself. Now I charged it up fully, then connected it to my MP40 and started the clock at night, hoping that it would still be running when I woke up the next day. And not only was it running in the next morning, it was actually still going 24 hours later when I went to bed again. And it was only on the second morning when I checked at the 34 hour mark that it had run out of juice. And that means that it had lasted somewhere between 24 hours and 34 hours. Now I did test the Ecotech battery backup for comparison purposes, uh, but it only lasted six hours. Although that's not a fair test really, because the lithium backup I've got is brand new and the Ecotech battery backup I have is three years old, which is pretty much towards the end of its useful life. Although I would say on that point that the lithium battery should lose less juice over the years than the Ecotech one does. So while it is an unfair test, that does highlight another disadvantage of the Ecotech battery. And in fact, lead acid batteries, the lead acid battery that's in the Ecotech really doesn't like being drained down to zero and doing so will, will cause it to lose more runtime in future than you'll lose by draining the lithium battery to zero. So that's another point for the lithium backup. And unfortunately for me, that probably means <laughs> that I've ruined my own Ecotech battery backup by doing this test. In terms of how long they will last before you have to replace them, they both should have a lifespan of around three to five years. Uh, although you can see from my Ecotech test just how much that one loses after three years. So it's probably safer to work at the shorter end of that time frame and aim to replace it after around three years. Now for me, the size and weight saving alone is a reason enough to buy the lithium option. But when you consider the, the fact that it's half the price of the Ecotech, for me, it's an absolute no brainer. So I will be buying that from now on. Now there's one final point actually, because both these backups are 12 volt battery backups, they won't power most other water pumps on the market, which tend to run on 24 volts. So you will need an Ecotech powerhead to run this, but I actually do run the lithium battery on my nano tank. So if you want to see how I made that work, make sure you subscribe to the Reef Talk Extra channel and I will upload a video showing you how I've done that very soon. And finally then, if you've got any questions about this, stick them down in the comment section below on your way to the like button and I'll catch you next time.